The keep with next functionality in Word is very important for making your documents look professional, as well as helping with the flow and the structure and so on and so forth. Now, the purpose of a heading or a subheading is to inform the reader as to what's coming next. You know, it's like a signpost. It's telling you what's in the following section. So, therefore, it makes sense for the heading to actually be, or to, to keep that heading with the following section. And that's what the keep with next functionality helps to do. And as you can see in this just sample document, I've got a heading one and some large paragraphs and a couple of heading twos. Now, at the bottom of the first page, I have a heading two. Now, in my templates, the style that follows a heading is called first para. Now, if I turn on my apply styles box, I can see that that style is first para. Then the style after a first para is, is a body style. Now, they provide a different functionality because the body style is indented first line, the first para isn't, but they also do things in a different way as well. So as we can see here, we have this heading two at the bottom of the first page. And I don't have the keep with next on this heading for this example. So if I delete the first para style, then my body style will replace it. So the paragraph is now splitting across the page, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's this isn't the correct style to follow a heading. So if I now change this to first para, Look what happens, and my heading is now isolated at the bottom of the page. And it needs to lock itself to this first para. Okay, and that's that's why it's kind of important because if I now get rid of this one, and let me let me just join these paragraphs together so it's a, a little a big paragraph, and then I get rid of this one, and then I get rid of that heading. This is what's happening. So when you've got a single line at the bottom of the page, okay. It's not so bad because the, the heading is near the near the foot. But when you get something like this happening in a long document and you miss it for some reason, then it's very, very unsightly. Now, it's very, very easy to avoid. We can modify it on the template level, which I would recommend that you do. And we do keep the next. And then that's what happens. So that if you do start getting large paragraphs like this and at least the heading is going to stay with the text which is what you want if you later decide to split the paragraph then you know that it's going to be good so if i insert another heading two that's ex that's what's going to happen I change this to body style that's what's going to happen but that's incorrect so i put it back to first paragraph and my heading is locked to the, the following paragraph and that's what you want to do i wouldn't recommend you do this on a local level so for example if i just want whoops if i just want to apply it to this one then you would do it through this i wouldn't do that because it's very difficult to manage because you very quickly forget which ones you've applied it to and which ones you haven't applied it to but that's the importance of the keep with next and hopefully you can see how that will always help your documents look professional and visually appealing. Thanks very much.